Stand. My brothers and sisters, we are united together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We know these were always together when Christmas first happened. And as we ask for their intercessions, let us call to mind our sins and failures and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen.
God, who we are pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your hearts, delight one day in eternal rewards through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sit home. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you, te you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your heart to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be kind to your husbands, as is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and avoid any bitterness towards them. Children, Obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, so they may not become discouraged. The word of the Lord. Be to God. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law regarding to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all peoples, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your young people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, 
Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel. And to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped day and night with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about this child to all who are awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. readings this weekend, they really help us to understand the real value of family in the eyes of God, and the family's importance in our parish community and the greater community at large. From the writings of Mary, a mother, Teresa of Calcutta, in one of her writings called No Greater Love. She tells the story of a little girl she found on the street. She took the child into the Missionaries of Charity Children's Home, where she gave her clean clothes, good food, and a nice place to stay. The sisters there tried very hard to make the girl happy but after a few hours, the girl ran away. Mother Teresa followed the girl and discovered that the girl was fleeing back to her mother, who was so poor that she lived on the street under a tree and had very meager food. When asked why she ran away, the girl replied, I could not live without my mother because she loves me. The whole time she was at the mission, the little girl did not smile. But with her mother, she did smile. So why did the girl smile? It's because Together, as mother and daughter, they were a family. Mother Teresa's story is a good example of parent-child relationship, describing our first reading from Zechariah. As the children and parents are gifts from God, In God's wisdom, he created Adam and Eve in his image, demonstrating his bond with them. Because of this bond, allowed Adam and Eve to have children who were also created in the image and likeness of God. The mother and daughter in Mother Teresa's story shows how strong the bond can be and should be a very good example to all parents. To all parents to recognize that just as they are created in the image of God, 
their children are also in the image and likeness of God. The family bond is a two-way street which parents value their children and children should likewise value their parents. Thus, both shall be abundantly blessed by God. Our readings cause us to be reflections, to be mirrors of God's mutual love for us. Like we share in our homes with all our family members. And this kind of love should be extended outwardly as an example of God's love to the community about us, parish community, the greater Kailua community, the bigger community in the city and county of Honolulu. As a family, we seek to honor and obey God follow his design for each of our families and his will for our own family. The holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph and their devotion to one another is unequal and their obedience to the Lord is just perfect. As we honor the holy family today, Let us all consider our own families and the gift we are to each other despite the world being a disturbing place where there are wars and anxiety because of terrorism. There is the fierceness of competition and the injustice that comes from greed. There are continuous distractions that come from the media, the numerous hours given to television, radio, and the internet. There are the demands after all of this that we have to do, especially for parents of work and family life. Yet, in the midst of this distractions and this pandemic that we're going through. People are generously loving one another in their family. They're loving their friends and they're loving their community. Nevertheless, there's a nagging question remains. Where are all that we are going to in the coming year? There is a persistent desire to find the true meaning of hope. But in the midst of the Catholic Church, it offers a very special message that it's not the Church's own message, but it comes from God and His Son, Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago and fills our heart with gratitude for the value of family as we prepare to unite as one big family, one loving community, in that we need to create community among all of us, especially when we have and come to the altar to receive the body of Christ. Together, let us now stand and profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all things, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born Lord of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him are things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The family of Nazareth inspires us to imitate the virtues of holiness and piety. With this ideal before us, we ask the Lord to hear our prayers on this family day. For the church, living amid the changing realities of life, may she always be guided by the Holy Spirit in bringing the message of love into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family of nations and their leaders, may they work for peace, so that peace may reign in every place, heart, and home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families in our parish, especially those with newborn, for families uprooted by violence or persecution, and for parents who must face difficulties alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For broken families, may God reconcile, forgiveness be granted and accepted to restore all relations of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, may the Holy Spirit continue to inspire us to grow in our faith in the year to come. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For deceased loved ones, may they be granted and gathered into the eternal joy of their heavenly home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, your prayer. For the prayers on my parish app, webmail, and those in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, by subjecting himself to Mary and Joseph, your son sanctified home life in Nazareth. As we offer our prayers, help us to follow his example, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
My sisters and my brothers, so that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. The Lord accept the sacrifice. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that, through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and the angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hope, heaven and earth, earth are full, are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present here in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we humbly implore you to send forth the power of your Holy Spirit upon these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he himself took bread in his sacred and venerable hands, and looking up to you, his heavenly Father, he gave thanks, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, 
When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the serving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John Vianney, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation We pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Larry, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people your Son has gained for your honor. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned here this evening before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive forgive us our our trespasses, trespasses, as as we we forgive forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us us not into into temptation, but deliver us from from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
and Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles and to say to us as we gather here today, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy and blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, for those of us who cannot be here at the altar of the Lord to receive Jesus, I now invite you to make a spiritual communion with us. And let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
be seated. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, a gentle reminder please allow us to exit the church in an orderly manner to avoid unnecessary contact or congestion by allowing the priests and the ministers to exit first. A hospitality minister will guide you out, and we ask you do not congregate outside the church. Ministers and volunteer will clean the church after all have left. We thank you. Thank you, Deacon. A Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, this year is slowly coming to an end. On Friday, we're going to celebrate a new year, 2021. And we will begin uh, that year with the celebration of the Eucharist uh, in the Feast of the Holy Mother of God at 9 a.m. So 9 a.m., January 1st, 2021. And uh, on Saturday, January 2nd, we will have adoration of the Eucharist after the 8 a.m. Mass. Come and spend some quiet time with the Lord. And would you believe it? After 10 days or so, I'm going to be losing my cook. My chef, Francis, is going to be going back to seminary tomorrow. <laughs> so, so, Francis, thank you for being here for a short time. It is always a pleasure uh, having you in our family of St. John Vianney. Mahalo. Thank you. And uh, on um, January 5th, I, I'm trying to uh, visit with family, so I'll be going to Zambia. I know it's during this pandemic, but uh, my dad has been ill for some time, so I'm going to be visiting uh, with him. I'll spend about a month over there. Uh, please pray for Michael, uh, my father, and uh, my family. And especially me, you know, I'm kind of scared uh, traveling at this time of the pandemic, but uh, I almost have no choice, but I have to go. So uh, thank you for your prayers. But uh, I'm still here next Sunday, and uh, after that, I'll be leaving to go to Zambia. So thank you for your prayers. And Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas.
The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So oh.